Hi, I'm Melina. I did two master's programs at Harvard and I'll be doing a review of one of the programs I went to, Master of Bioethics at Harvard Medical School. I'll be going over everything including the curriculum, capstone experience, program format, faculty, student profile, and application tips. Let's first talk about the curriculum. What I really liked about this program's curriculum was that it emphasizes both the academic coursework and practical fieldwork. All students in this program are expected to take an year-long Foundations of Bioethics course as well as Capstone Seminar. The Foundations of Bioethics course introduces students to all the theories related to bioethics as well as law and policy. This course had a lot of reading and it pushed me to think about challenges in bioethics and beyond so it was pretty challenging. Capstone Seminar is another year-long course that all students in this program are required to take. We met every week to reflect on our Capstone experience which is a required component of this program and I'll be talking about the Capstone experience in more depth later in this video. Besides Foundations of Bioethics and the Capstone Seminar, we were also required to take Introduction to Clinical Ethics, Introduction to Research Ethics, and Health Law, Policy, and Bioethics, which are the three core classes. In addition to these required classes, students need to take 12 elective credits. You can take electives that are offered through the bioethics program or you can cross-register and take courses in other parts of the university. So you'll have the opportunity to take classes that interest you and get exposure to a wide range of challenges in the bioethics field. Some of the electives that are offered through the bioethics program include global health ethics, neuroethics, pediatric bioethics, just to mention a few. You have to take a total of 36 credits to graduate. You have to take the required classes no matter what, but you can tailor the program based on your interests through the elective courses and the capstone project. The capstone experience is a highlight for many students in this program because it gives students a hands-on bioethics experience with an assigned mentor. This is amazing because it's tailored towards each student's goals and interests. You answer questions about your background, expertise, and interests, and the program will pair you with a faculty who's working in that bioethics field. You can actually see and participate in the bioethics field you want to work in after graduation during the program. And it gives you the opportunity to apply concepts you're learning in classroom to real life. The three major placement options include clinical bioethics, research bioethics, and public bioethics, and I took the clinical bioethics route. My mentor was a pediatric oncologist and bioethicist at Boston Children's Hospital and Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. He had tons of experience not only as a physician but also in research and bioethics and I am so lucky I got to learn from him. At the end of each year, there is a capstone symposium where the graduating class present their capstone experience to the faculty, mentors, students, and members of the Harvard Medical School community. There is a one-year full-time option and also a two-year part-time option. Online classes weren't an option when I attended, so I went to all classes in person, but online classes are also an option for students attending part-time now. I did the two-year part-time in-person option because I was working and also doing another master's through the Harvard Graduate School of Education while I was doing the bioethics program. I think there's pros and cons to doing this program in one year full-time or two year part-time. I like spreading it out over two years because it gave me the time to think about what I want to do for my capstone project. If you're doing it in one year, you have to decide what you're going to do for your capstone project right away at the beginning of the program, but I didn't have to decide until the start of my second year. But because I had a full-time job while I was doing this program, I wasn't able to attend all the events. And I couldn't take some of the classes I'm interested in because it conflicted with my work schedule. Whether you do the one-year full-time option or the two-year part-time option will mostly depend on whether you'll be working at the same time. Whatever option you choose, you'll be doing the exact same program with the same faculty. I have to say the faculty in this program were amazing. 
They have faculty from Harvard University and their affiliated hospitals. The program director, Dr. Brendel, went to both medical school and law school, and she's also the president of American Psychiatric Association. She teaches the Foundations of Bioethics course, and she definitely has extensive knowledge and experience in law, medicine, and bioethics. We were also assigned an advisor. I met with my advisor a couple of times throughout the semester, and she helped me plan out my courses and talk about my future goals and plans. My advisor was a psychologist at Massachusetts General Hospital, and she was very supportive and knowledgeable. I can't mention all the faculty in this video, but if you attend this program, I can assure you that you'll be working and learning from some of the best people in this field. You might be wondering what kind of students attend this program and if you should apply. There were students in this program from a wide range of educational and professional backgrounds. But all students had the commitment of wanting to develop an expertise in bioethics through formal education. There were students who hold a professional degree and currently working as a doctor or a lawyer looking to enhance their primary training in a related field. And there were students who just graduated college and doing this program before entering medical school, law school, or getting a formal job. The most common professions in my program were physicians and lawyer, but it doesn't mean you have to be working in one of these fields to apply. There were also researchers, nurses, healthcare administrators, journalists, and so on. You don't need to have previous experience in bioethics to apply to this program. But if you're applying straight from undergrad, it would be helpful to have strong academic record from college and also some sort of evidence that you're interested in bioethics. I can't say exactly how much your college grades matter, but if you're a senior in college applying to this program, I think your college record would be important. Versus if you graduated college 30 years ago and you've been working as a doctor for 20 something years, your college grades probably don't matter that much. If you choose to do this program while working, it's totally doable. But it might be a bit difficult if your work schedule is rigid and not very flexible. A lot of my classes started at 4 p.m. when I attended this program, so I had to work with my employer so I can leave my work a bit early on those days. And there might be a class that's only offered during your work hours, so it would be helpful to talk to your employer if they can be a bit flexible with your work hours while you're doing this program. In terms of the interview during the application process, I did my interview through Zoom with the program director and program manager. They were very nice and I had a good conversation. But make sure you can talk about why you're interested in attending this particular program, what you wrote about in your personal statement, and what you intend to do after graduating from this program. Overall, regardless of what background you come from, if you are intellectually curious and eager to address complex moral challenges in bioethics, you will be a good fit for the program. And of course, you should try to show your interest in bioethics through your personal statement and during the interview. Okay, this is all I have for today. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like to see. I'll be making more videos that will help you with your schoolwork and career, so please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!